Hello, we're here at uh, Left Coast Marina. We just came from uh, Waypoint, which is way over there. Way, way point. And uh, the reason uh, going to Waypoint is we had uh, a sale yesterday from uh, a main sale from a good friend, Bobby. You rock, Bobby. Awesome. Thank and you very uh, much. oh man, you're the best. But it's uh, slightly too long. Yeah, it's one and a half meter too long on the top side. So we just yeah. brought it to the sailmaker and he's gonna look. We asked him for advice and he said he probably cut off the bottom part. Yeah. If that it's possible till the first reefing pound and hopefully, hopefully that's one meter and a half. So that would be the easiest way. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, yeah. it's a little bit short on the boom. Also, uh, it's yeah. a little bit high uh, at the mast. So we're gonna take it in on the mast. Mm -hmm. But if he takes out the reef, um, from from underneath the sail, so to speak. Um, forgive me for all the lack of slang. <laughs> so the bottom of the sail gets uh, cut off, so that the sail level length drops. It will mean that we have less uh, uh, area area of sail. So yeah. uh, on, on your sail. So what we're doing now, what we're trying to do, is we discussed it with him. Uh, this guy called Nick is awesome, and uh, Bobby recommended us. Yeah, so he's gonna have a look at it and um, let me Yeah, check. so he might shorten it and yeah. maybe add more sail at the bottom so we don't have uh, we don't lose much sail area. So anyway we left it behind and uh, tomorrow we'll be here uh, to shoot another video and uh, you will see or you may have seen by now and we're gonna drop by and see uh, if he has a nice price for us. Yeah. So, so you probably cut down on the loft and then it gets, yeah. Yep. We'll see how it goes <laughs> because it goes. attach another on the leech side. Yeah. So another area. So that's a bit tricky. See how it goes. We'll, we'll drop by tomorrow. Exciting. And that truck over there is for us. And they're dropping off our brand new deep cycle batteries. Happy days. Uh, there they are. 300 amp batteries. batteries. Right. This is the octopus we save, kind of, from this creature. He's pretty pleased with himself now. He is. Uh, we just tossed it back into the water, hopefully. And I wanted a pet octopus sticks. Yeah, we did want a pet octopus. This doesn't go along with sticks. Oh, it's, it looks better in the water. Uh, it actually seems to be moving around more than it did on land a few minutes Way ago. Way more. That's good. Yeah, I think it just washed itself on the bubbles. And the sticks. Such a beautiful creature. Although your attentions were well, we're a stick to the can food. Hi. Just doing another quick chore, just uh, fixing this thing. I don't know the terminology phrase for it, so uh, please leave it in the description below and teach me something. And uh, this was the one on port side and the one that i'm replacing now this was totally cracked and uh, i went to a store specialized in lemur and asked for a new one and uh, they pointed out that it's a custom made thing so um it's not lemur at all although the housing is but apparently they didn't have it so anyway i went to two friends of ours uh, Chris and Ian who we always go to for advice and we always pick their brains when we uh, run into another wall <laughs> and uh, 
Chris helped me out with one of these, which is very kind of him. He had it laying around, and it is exactly the right size. It's slightly thinner, but it shouldn't be a problem. Look, this is the, uh, the center core part. See that? It's beautiful. So I'm going to put it in, and uh, oh yeah, it acts for um, our Genoa sheets. So they come via the block, and then. Um, well, I could choose uh, this winch, but preferably I use this one. And so it goes through the block and over the winch and uh, clear it off. So totally under control. And God, I, we are so eager to set sail. It's unbelievable. And from the inside, it looks like this. So they go all the way through the, uh, the fiberglass. And uh, we use these uh, washers and counter nuts to hold them in place and get some sealant in there as well, just against the spray and all. Road trip! Road trip. Here we are again on the boatyard. It's always a, I don't know, weird place to be. Not in a bad way, not in a good way, just a bit in between, I guess. Twilight zone, that might be it. And that's probably because all the boats are out of the water. So it's not really very logical or it doesn't make a lot of sense. And yeah, it's pretty cool. We've been living here as well for two months last year, I guess. Yeah, pretty nice. And then when the wind blows, you can hear it in all the masts, which gives it a bit of an eerie sound. Ooh, lots of little cats. Hello. Oh, kittens. Hello. <laughs> There we go, you see all the treasures beneath the boats. And you can see all the keels, rudder, prop. A very smooth hull. Which ours probably isn't anymore. Big anchors. Ooh. Very interesting looking at boats. Boats, boats, boats. See, so that one would be a proper fin keel. Oh, it's retractable, you see? So you can get it in and out. And this would be a bullet keel, I believe. With a long shaft and a prop. And two rudders. That's because they have two big steering wheels. And most of the modern boats do that. And then there you have the skag hung rudder. Way more solid. Sorry, look in the boat. And there you have a full keel, the red one over there, if you can see it. That is solid as fuck. Solid. Solid as a rock. And normally this boatyard would be full of people, but not now, because of COVID. So it's a bit, even more weird now. See, and there you got all these boats for sale as well. Loads of them must be for sale. And there we get the catamarans. But loads of them will be for sale and also loads of them are just rotting away, unfortunately. Now, so we are here to look or to air out a boat for some friends of ours. And we arrived at the catamaran section and to fill up the gaps they just put a few monohulls in between. 
Oh, there. There you go. This is the shot. Right? Let me take a picture of that as well. Beautiful. We'll be right back.